Well, here we are once again at the Moon Ridge Animal Park, or the Moon Ridge Zoo, as we call it, where they're having another fundraiser on this Labor Day weekend. And this is what they call their ice cream safari. And it's a lot of ice cream. Let's go in and uh, do some tasting. Well, once again, they have a wonderful crowd here. Preceding weekend, they had the uh, Native American Art Festival here and was jammed. And uh, this is the ice cream safari, as they call it. Now, what they do is they have several ice cream stations. We're going to go around to them and see what kind of ice cream they have. All the ice cream is donated by the local businesses here, so it's all profit. And look at this beautiful lady in pink hair. Hey, did somebody eat your ice cream? What kind of ice cream did you have? What was your flavor? What kind did you just have? I just had, we just had two scoops of peach. A peach? The last. Ooh, was it good? Yeah. Oh, good. Well, I'm glad there's none left. <laughs> What are you doing? Are you uh, sampling? I, I am conning these yes. people into sharing peach, and I just got some pistachio nut. Ooh. It how is about so that? good. Mm -hmm. I forget how many flavors we have, but we, we have, have brownie, I know. chocolate brownie, we have pie, chocolate chip mint, and bubble gum. Wow. How about that? And, and not well, only that, we are dishing up a heck of a lot of information to all our wonderful people. I know it. Oh. <laughs> well, what else? Yeah. I mean, that's the reason you have it. Yes. That is cool. And let's thank the people. Look at this. Rite Aid, Stater Brothers, North Pole Fudge and Ice Cream Company donated the ice cream here. So what do you have here? We have a peach. peach. Ooh, that looks so good. It mm -hmm. is. Mm -hmm. Would you like some? No, thanks. <laughs> Maybe on the way out. Okay. <laughs> You've never seen Ron turn down food. <laughs> and look at all these people here. <laughs> There's another ice cream station. These are really cool signs. These are designed uh, for billboards uh, down the mountain because it's their home, Big Bear Zoo. And look at this, because we all live off this land, Big Bear Zoo. So let's see what Fran and them have here. Oh, man. Ooh, green. Ooh. Boy, I've been offered all the ice cream, but I just have to wait. Never turn down pistachio. Mm -mm. Now, that's a square container, so that means it's from Rite Aid. Yes, it is. You right betcha. Ticket. See, when they uh, arrive, uh, it's $5, and they get five scoops. So they're given a dish and a spoon at the entrance, and then they're going around, and then they, yeah, and then they have five bears, and they get their coupon clipped. Right, Fran? Right, right. How about that? Now, let's see the bear here. This is a little one. This was the little one, folk. Our, this is a three uh, three feet here. Yeah, this is Hucklebear there. He only has, he had one of the bottom of his leg amputated. But man, he sure hops around. He gets around as well as any four-legged bear. That's right. Did you have ice cream? Yeah. What kind, is that your ice cream? Yeah. Oh, man. You going to get fat? No, kids don't get fat eating ice cream. How many scoops are you going to get? And he's counting. How many scoops? Is this, you have two scoops there, huh? So you have three more left? Okay, we have five more left. Wow, how cool. It just never stops. Okay. Keep going. Okay. Look at that. Chocolate brownie. Chocolate, 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 chocolate. Lisa, chocolate brownie. Did you have chocolate brownie? He's just not looking at me. Hey, look up. Did you have chocolate brownie? Yes, I had. I had the and Really? All that too? How cool. Oh, you going all three flavors? 
Uh, preferably strawberry and vanilla. Okay. Thank you. You're on your last one, so I'll just keep your cards. Yeah. This is so nice. Oh, they also strawberry have what, and strawberry and vanilla. Oh, wow. Oh, I know. Cool. I always have a hard time shooting the porcupines. One is uh, awake. This looks like a small one, maybe a baby one, huh? They're so neat. Do you know that porcupines do not shoot their quills? That's, a, that's an old tail, but they can sure stick you, I tell you, if you go up to them. Pretty cool, huh? You want to try some ice cream or have you been trying oh, it? They, no, they've been offering it to me. Ooh, this is mint, chocolate chip. Mint chocolate. Mint mint chocolate. Mm. You know what this is? Neapolitan? And Neapolitan. You want some? No, thanks. No, well, thanks. How can, no. You, turn that, how can you turn that down? Oh, I'll get it's hard to uh, film and eat at the same well, time. Well, that's true. You don't want Again, ice the ice cream, cream is all courtesy of Rite Aid, State of Brothers, and North Pole Fudge and Ice Cream. This is all donated. And, uh, of course, all the money. It's five scoops for $5. And all the $5 goes to the Friends of the Moon Ridge Zoo. Uh, relocation. Don't forget. That's right, for a new location. The lease is up here in just a little over two and a half, about two and a half years. Yeah. And, uh, boy, you guys have got to get moving. But working with the Forest Service, it takes time. Yes, it does. I know. Once they get the lease signed, then uh, you can go to town. Yeah, we've got some great renderings already. I know it. I know. We're going to chat about it in a few minutes. Good seeing you all. Yeah, you can go up and build. He has all that. Right. Okay, Ron, this is uh, this is probably about the fourth function we've had on that for the zoo this year, isn't it? I know it. Yeah, oh, last weekend first. was the Native American Native uh -huh. art American. festival. And we had uh, and just so many hungry people. It's hard to get the wolves to get so close here, but there here they are. Aren't they beautiful? So cool. <laughs> These are timber wolves. Hi. I'm visiting the park today. Well, hi, Bill. And this is Ice Cream Safari Day. People are going around all the spots having ice cream. I know. I filmed every one. And I've been offered ice cream at every stop. <laughs> but due to my waste, I well, think, huh? I'm forgetting my waste. I'll get some <laughs> before I leave. Anyway, this is the uh, plans for the move for the new location. Correct. You only have about two and a half more years uh, left before you have to move. Hopefully this diagram is starting to be more self-explanatory in the sense of the pictures here. Yes, the, it the is. The introductory of the park is 1920s, 1930s. Uh -huh. The hub of the park, we're looking at the gold rush era with a mining shack and the aviary off the back of it. Here we have a general store with the uh, animals running you know, inside there. Oh, sure. And loose raccoons inside of the owner. Wow. The general store. This may look like a, a building, but actually this is going to be a cave. Oh, and really? it's going to be a nocturnal cave. You walk through, and when you come out the other side, it's going to be orientated in such a way that you can be popped with a view of the futuristic-looking building, which will be our hospital and our commissary. Oh, yeah. All that good stuff. This and then is so neat. The whole southern part will be the Native American experience for the Serrano. Bighorn sheep, the grizzly, and just spin around here, you may run into the Serrano village. It's a dilapidated rundown with wolves and animals. Right. And hopefully, maybe on the other side of the walkway, we'll have a couple uh, real huts with real artifacts in it. Oh, yeah. And the thing is, is what we our, one of our big efforts is to do is to how to keep this as a very practical family experience. Yeah, right. So right now, to, to come to this park and have fun and see all these animals, it's... Uh, you know, cheaper than going to a matinee. Oh, so sure. How can we do that here? So that's so, our goal. How to do that? Yeah. And uh, one of the things we're doing now is uh, looking uh, at sending funding sources that will actually create money for us to actually invest in the zoo in the long run. For example, we have the Nay Foundation out there right now, and the Nay Foundation has been set up to actually uh, have an endowment set up with enough interest coming out of it that it can pay for the animal food. 
Right. So what we like to do is say, let's set up a restricted funds for the hospital here uh -huh. and street create a bucket of money for that so that off the interest we can then put it back into the zoo. Oh, right, and right. same thing with the education facility down here in the uh -huh. media room is have another bucket of money set up that off the interest it could keep paying things in the zoo. If we sure. can get this infrastructure pay, uh, set up with a good funding source, uh -huh. we can keep the uh, gate down and really truly make it a continued family experience. Oh, that's great. That's, that's, so we're really looking at how we can get people to invest in the long run. Right. And we have brochures when you come and visit us, when you leave the park, on the right-hand side of the door, there's some investment brochures about the future. In the sense of you can help us out in the sense of uh, life insurance policies, real estate, things like that in uh -huh. the future. And I already know of at least a half dozen people are already you know, signing in and starting to do this for us. So we know we are creating buckets of money. For oh, the right. Yes. That money will then put into investment funds. And investment funds, we hopefully they'll be static and they'll keep growing. And therefore, the interest will grow off that principle. Uh -huh. That interest will be put in the park. So that's what we're headed for. And so all you out there that uh, like this idea can want to see the next 50 years of the park being successful and still being family entertainment and being you know, cheaper than going to the matinee, right. help us out. Now let's say that uh, this is the new location, so we're wrapped around the uh, Discovery Center. The Discovery Center. Okay. Discovery Center is right here. Uh -huh. This is the current uh, uh, parking lot that exists, so our uh -huh. entryway will be on the north side here. Right. You know, we're talking about also alternative energy. We're thinking about our bottom two new parking lots plus administration parking lots, uh -huh. making it shaded parking. You know, keep the car nice and comfortable. Oh, sure. That's but then, great. But also, on top of the shade, we'll also use solar panels. Right. And the idea of those three uh, parking structures having a solar panel could create enough electricity to power the park, park. in the high tide. I know it. Okay. And you're going to recycle water. and I mean, a lot of things you're doing over there to help the environment out. Well, actually, the idea that this could be a national model of how to create future parks in the huh. sense that yeah. we want to be ecologically sound okay, in the sense of the way we work with the forest, work around it, show how you can co-live co with it in the sense of destroying everything. Sure. So uh, we'll do that with the energy sources around there, the way the buildings are laid out, move a building if we have to to save our grandfather tree. You know? I know. It. Isn't that neat? Now the Nays started Magic Mountain up here. Correct. And uh, the, it, which is now the Alpine Slide area. Right. But um, anyway, they got sued by Magic Mountain. Did you know that? No. I was the that. Magic Mountain in Valencia, and they won. Huh. And so they were able to keep the Magic Mountain name up here. Oh, okay. so, uh, so that was a name, a name issue. Yeah, that's right. It was a name issue, and he got uh, quite a bit of money uh, okay. out of that suit. Huh. So uh, he passed away, and then... Huh? Uh, the, and, and then Mrs. Nate passed away just a few years ago. Right. And but, that's when the foundation came into effect because right. through her will that she willed it to the park. I know it. And so she did it in a way that set up that uh, the board of directors is the uh, supervisor and for our district, uh -huh. Medina, which is uh, Dennis Hansberger. Sure. Also, another member is supposed to be the uh, current mayor of Big Bear Lake. Right. And then another member is actually the curator of the animal park here, which is Don Richardson. Uh -huh. And then uh, the next member is also from the Friends of the Moon Ridge Zoo, our group. And that happens to be me. I'm that board member. Right. And then we have one board member at large. And actually, we have the person now aboard who is actually a financial person that's helping us a lot on the infrastructure of this and of the financial aspect and making us a picture. Before the word perpetual, perpetual uh -huh. fund, okay? Right. And so we're setting up a perpetual funding sure. source with investments in order to get the interest off there and use it specifically for the animal. Oh, that's feeding. great. Mm -hmm. So, folks, if you want to, I mean, if you're in your will or whatever, mm -hmm. I mean, boy. Or even now, if you have extra money you want to invest, you have stocks, you want to. Sure. Uh, take a write-off on and lower your, your taxes yeah. this year, we can get a stock yeah. exchange for you. There's a lot of ways to uh, move money around and help support That's right. the work. And really the goal is 50 years out there, not just tomorrow, but uh -huh. how do we do the 50 years thing? The park's been here 50 years already, what about the next 50? That's right. <laughs> We've, uh, this is Bill Treadwell, everybody, and what number would they call? You have your office? Yeah, our local uh, office number here in Big Bear is 878-4200. Uh -huh. 878-4200, that's 909. Offices, if you want to drop by, we're between Don Gio's restaurant and the Citibank. We're in between there on the bottom floor. Right. And Friends of the Moon Ridge Zoo sign is out. That's where it is, yes. folks. Thanks, Bill. And, Thank you, uh, It's getting close. <laughs> <laughs> Very close. <laughs> where we go into high gear. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> there we go. All right. Look at this. How are you guys? You guys, you guys like peach? 
You like peach, huh? Or just ice cream in general? What flavor don't you like? You don't? You, don't, you, like, you like everything, don't you? Yeah. How cool. That's neat. That's a neat close up of America's bird, folks. Look at all the people around here. These are so neat. That one's talking to you. So cool, huh? Look at that one. Very cool. Well, that concludes this segment here at the Moodridge Zoo and another fundraiser, their annual ice cream safari held on Labor Day weekend. Would you believe that I shot all of the ice cream there and didn't even get a taste of one? Man, what willpower. <laughs> well, anyways, better luck next time, I guess. Anyway, stay tuned for these words from my sponsors. <laughs>